Hey, what's up guys? JS Cards here coming at you with some Yu-Gi-Oh news. I'm sure you guys already saw it. That's why I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, but we got the March 15th Forbidden list and you know, I have to say it's a small list, but I'm actually pretty happy with it overall, but we'll talk about it a little bit more. Let's go over it. So as you guys can see here, for the new Forbidden cards as of March 15th, we have Union Carrier, uh, Utopic Ze Zexel, and True King of All Calamities, VFD himself, he's gone. So first of all, right off the bat, I am actually surprised, very shocked actually, about Union Carrier. Yes, I get it's in Drytron, but um, you know, I didn't think that was the main issue with them, and this card is useful in other decks. Poor ABC players are just never winning, <laughs> just never, you know, getting their way with the ban list. That's unfortunate. But Union Union Carrier, I thought was an interesting hit. Um, you know, I kind of, that's like the only one I was really blindsided by. Z Utopic Zexel, I think we all kind of expected it. Um, you know, it's it's pretty OP. And then True King of All Calamities. This is the big one everyone wanted gone. And, you know, the decks that this is played in, like Virtual World, Infernoble, uh, things like that, um, they're fine without it, too. I mean, there's different win conditions. People are just going to have to come up with different strategies. And I'm going to be curious to see how these decks change and how they adapt. I think they make the decks more fair as well, which is really good. For the limited cards, so you can only play one, only one card on here, we have Cyber Angel Benton, which um, I think we all were kind of, again, I saw a lot of predictions, everyone saying this should go to one. And I agree, you know, when I first saw this list, I or even before I saw it in my head, I thought, well, okay, Drytron can still play with one Ben 10, but now they don't have Union Carrier, which is a, another pretty big hit. However, I don't think the deck is dead. A lot of people instantly went on Twitter and said, Drytron's dead. I, don't forget, they are getting their uh, rank one Exceed monster, and I feel like someone's going to come up with a, a variant or something where this is going to be fine. I mean, maybe it includes adding the megaliths or something else. I don't think the deck is dead. However, it did take a huge hit. I will say that it's bigger than I thought. And then just jumping straight to the unlimiteds, we have uh, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, which really didn't stay on the ban list at all very long. Firewall Dragon, that is huge, uh, but it's with the errata. So of course, Definitely not as powerful as it was. Then we have the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardiche, Duloran, Ignister Prominence, Rank Up Magic, and True King's Return. So the interesting thing here is with Firewall Dragon, um, the effective date for Firewall to come off the ban list is actually April 14th, which is when Ghost of the Past comes out, which includes Firewall Dragon with the updated text. So, you know, when I first saw this, I misread it and I thought it was basically saying like the change as in the errata wouldn't go into effect until April. So I thought we'd have a month of chaos with people playing three uh, <laughs> Firewall Dragons without any errata. And I just thought Konami was like, good luck surviving for the next month. But no, the card is actually not coming off of the list until April 14th. So uh, yeah, just wanted to point that out. And I'm really okay with all of this. Now, they didn't hit Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber we still have. I thought maybe they would ban it. Although, to be fair, it hasn't been a huge issue lately. I mean, there's, you know, plenty of decks survive not playing it at all. But they also left Dragoon. Um, I was really hoping they would ban Dragoon, but and now it's like a $70, $75 card. It is nuts right now. So, uh, yep, we still have to deal with Dragoon, but we don't have VFD to worry about. So what do you guys think of this list? I'm really okay with it. The decks that I play really didn't get affected by this at all. And actually in my Salamangrate deck, I plan on playing a Firewall just for fun and just to see how it goes, even though sure, it's not as powerful as it used to be. But I think, you know, it's a Cyber deck. I kind of, you kind of have to play Firewall Dragon don't you? It's 
it's pretty iconic, I'd say. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. What decks do you plan on playing at least, you know, until the meta shapes up and we kind of see what's going on? I'd love to read your comments and let me know. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, deck profiles, and openings, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.